guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a video on how to save money at christmas this year so 2020 <music> obviously this can count for any christmas but i just hope that maybe some of these are helpful so then obviously you guys can save some money and still actually buy people presents as obviously i'm sure quite a lot of you still want to buy people things but you just maybe not have as much money as you normally would due to obviously inflation and the increase in cost of living um but obviously i'm not going to get into that because i'm sure that you guys have heard so much about it um so i'm going to get straight on with this video and the first one is is actually work out how much money that you actually have to spend on christmas so obviously just make sure that you are actually spending the money that you actually have and you're not overspending and then obviously once you know how much money you have you can work out like how much you want to spend on each person and how you want to like distribute it so then obviously you are not overspending one is to set budgets on how much you're going to spend on each person and obviously just like give to close people like closer people don't like give to people that are obviously um like a little bit less close to you as otherwise they might feel obliged to pay or give you something else in return as obviously if you're gifting them they're going to feel like they have to give you one back too and obviously if they don't have enough money that is going to be like quite a big like pressure and like they could result them in getting in like in debt so obviously just like be mindful when you are gifting to make sure the other person can afford it and maybe set budgets then obviously someone's not spending like 50 pound on you and then you're spending like five it is is consider getting gifts from like charity shops as obviously like re-gifting a gift is obviously really good and it's obviously you're going to be doing it for a charity and a good organization and also there's so many good things that obviously people don't want anymore and then they just give away um so obviously charity shop can be a really good place to get like cheaper presents but obviously still like high quality and things that the person actually wants this one is is like get get gifts when like promotions or discounts are on so then obviously you can save the money and um you can actually check online like when the discounts are going to be that is buy a cheap turkey or a cheap cut of meat as obviously like the cheaper ones just taste just as good and obviously you're not going to be spending a ridiculous amount of money on a piece of meat that you're literally just going to be eating for like one day and then just have like leftovers the next one is actually give presents that are free so obviously you can give like time or like clean something or do something for somebody do like breakfast in bed as well or like clean their car for them next one is try and give a multi-shop like gift card so then obviously if the place that you um want the gift card for like goes bust or something then obviously like that money won't be wasted and someone can still buy something and if they don't like the shop that you bought it for like they can still use it somewhere else because it counts for so many like different places next one is if you actually order a product online actually make sure that you check it and make sure that you are actually happy with it as otherwise it can be obviously like the 14 day period can obviously et, like run out by the time the person gets their gift and then if they don't like it or if it's not like obviously like proper and it's not how it's meant to be then obviously you can't get your money back so the next one is is get cheaper perfumes um rather than buying like designer ones so this is going to be moving me on to a slightly different topic but obviously i just wanted to include this very quickly in this video and i am looking to making another video for this and or unless i already have by the time this one goes up is that i am actually making i've actually made my own business and i am selling lots of um like fragrances that like half the fraction of the price um of designer ones and obviously they are just as good and i just wanted to say that obviously if you guys want to have a look at what i'm selling then obviously it is jasmine's products on instagram and um facebook so if you guys would like to just like check that out and obviously get in like cheaper fragrances there's also makeup um skincare hair products like home products there's literally everything and obviously i am i'm really excited to share this business with you guys so but yeah that's the number one is just like try and get cheaper perfumes rather than paying designer ones as they can be just as good and obviously you're not spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a perfume that someone's just going to be spraying and they might even forget about it and then not end up wearing it next one is just take christmas to be a day with family rather than like um buying loads of presents as obviously spending time with people at christmas is actually important and 
if you take that for being Christmas, then obviously that is going to be so much better. Next one is this, when you're buying a gift, actually look online for when you can get it the cheapest. Obviously like price comparison websites as well, that can be really good. This one is this, use eBay to find um, gifts that obviously are actually local to you. So you can find like a um, location map on like Google and then obviously you can have a look at eBay and the ones that actually have um, location to them without delivery is obviously going to work out a lot cheaper. And also there's going to be less bids for them because people obviously don't want to travel so you might be able to get something a lot cheaper and actually something that you wanted and if it's in your local area like you're not really going to have much transport either which is just going to make it a lot cheaper and you're going to get gifts for cheaper price and what you wanted this one is, is consider getting cash back on some of your purchases so obviously what you buy um like go on cashback websites and see if you can get some money um obviously don't just like buy things just because you know you're going to get cash back um, but obviously if it's something that you're going to be buying and it's an option then obviously you're going to be getting more money for it so just consider that the next one is, is find discounts on big outlet like stores obviously like these ones are online as obviously you can save so much more money like that way so this is make sure that you do your delivery like early so then you um take advantage of cheap or like free delivery sl like slots rather than buying like fast delivery or um having to pay more because obviously it's not going to like get there in time the next one is if you have any like shop vouchers actually like buy um products with them and obviously if you're buying them like on club club for example and you buy like jewelry then obviously you're going to get more cover points and obviously that's going to help you where obviously if you spend it on food you're less likely to get as many like points so just try and be a little bit more mindful with like what you're using your vouchers for and obviously just using your vouchers for presents is going to be saving you so much more money that is make sure that you actually write a list of like what you actually need so christmas food or like presents just like write it all down and then just stick to that list this one is is get like um cheaper overseas like shipping so obviously you can have a look online and see how you can do that um and also just make sure that it is going to be delivered on time obviously without paying any extra money Next one is is actually sell old things that you don't need anymore so then obviously you can make some more money. Next one is is in your family do a secret Santa so then obviously not everyone has to buy for everyone and it's just like one person is going to be buying for someone else and there's like a budget, a budget limit of how much you're going to be spending and it's just going to be stopping everyone from buying everyone presents and then obviously like it's going to be a lot of money spent. So the next one is, is so obviously it's recommended not to borrow at Christmas but if you do need to borrow then obviously try and get a 0% interest credit card. You're not going to be incurring interest on your borrowing. Next one is, is ask for a gift receipt so then obviously the next person can actually um take back their present if it is not how they wanted it without like you having to do it yourself and obviously it might actually give you a longer time frame for giving it back because obviously the person is aware that it's going to be a gift and they're not going to be getting it until christmas so um just do that so then obviously like no money will be wasted next one is just try buying like um christmas like um reduced like items and everything so like gift wrapped or like gift tags or wrapping paper um or like even christmas cards etc for next year so obviously getting it in the sale, you're going to be saving so much more money for the next year. One it is, is actually save money throughout the year for Christmas. So each month, like, set away a little bit of money. So obviously you're going to be able to, um, at Christmas, you're going to have, like, the money already there to spend. And then obviously with your budgeting and all the other methods, then obviously you're going to be using that money, like, very purposely and wisely. One is, is don't buy things just because they're in the sale like if you don't need them one is something that doesn't always work but it could actually work is um when you're doing your online shopping keep everything in your basket and then when you get the reminder email that you've got things in your like trolley or like your basket then obviously they might actually give you a discount for obviously not like purchasing it straight away so obviously they want you to make the purchase so they might give you a discount and then obviously that is going to give you money off your order so just consider leaving it in your basket just for like a day or so and see if you could potentially get that discount these are all the tips i have on how to save money for christmas so obviously you not spend as much money and just like get more for your money so i hope this is helpful and i really hope that you guys do have a good christmas and thank you for still watching this video if you've got up to this point so 
thank you for watching because you like and subscribe if you like this video because you click on the notification bell if you want to see more of my videos and if you have any more video ideas that you'd like to see please comment them down below so thank you for watching bye